Uh, there's a there's a little game here called Cyberpunk 2077. Have you heard heard about this? Sure have. I've known about it for a while now. Yeah, it's a uh, it's weird. Before we get into this, I think this was a weird way to end your E3 showing. I get why you do it. Everybody's excited for this game, obviously, but this is a multiplat game. It's it's uh, it's just weird. I think it's weird to show this. What are your thoughts on this? Are you a big CD Projekt Red guy? Not really. I've, I I I played some of Witcher three, and mm. I, know, I might I might get hated on the my what I'm about to say, but while it looked gorgeous, and the writing did seem pretty good, I was not a fan of the combat, so I put it down. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm in the same boat where I played a bit of it and then I put it down. I I put it down because I had a very small TV screen and the game looked too detailed and it, it like you needed to see too much stuff for me to be able to play it. And I've gotten a better screen since, haven't played it again, but like people lost their minds over that game. I think and I think I said this on Twitter at some point, or very recently, the best thing about that game is the dialogue system. And not because it has, like, branching choices or anything, but because... You remember when Mass Effect Andromeda launched? Like, it had terrible, like, character animation. They, they were just... Everybody looked like they were just wrong. Yes. <laughs> okay, so... Terrible. So to the uninitiated in the... Who are listening... The the way big games, games with like hours and like with tens of hours of dialogue, the way they operate is they have, they just have programs which read the words being said. They just look at the sound files and they match the motion of the lips and to what's being said. That's why in the last generation, like you have games like uh, the Bethesda games, especially you can see this. The characters just stand there still and they just move their lips kind of when they speak. That's how this, That's how those games kind of just operate. Yeah, they Which, use an algorithm. Yeah, they use an algorithm to just to make the actors in the game move. The Witcher 3 has the best algorithm of any game ever made by a metric mile. Yes. I don't even know if it's actually an algorithm or if it's all handcrafted. Because it looks that good. Like, it looks handcrafted to me. The characters, like the... they interact with the world. Like, they, like Gerald will look at a character at specific lines, at specific moments. So, there's probably some handmade stuff in that, but it is, that in and of itself is an achievement in video game making. Like, like I, I specifically remember, like, you know, you'd be talking to a character and when they were talking about something that made them uncomfortable, you could see it visibly on them where they're like, they'll look down and they'll, you know, the, like you, you could see it in their body language. It's like, yeah. And holy he, shit. The best we had gotten before that was like LA Noir, where the characters would go like, sir, did you kill your wife? And the guy was like, no. And he would just kind of look stilted like, oh, you know, and he would just kind of scratch yeah. his stomach or something, and the guy would, "Where were you last night?" And he was like, "Oh, oh, I was, you know, I, I was, I was at home." And then he just looks to the sights. I think that game was a bit ahead of its time. It was oh, trying to do my something. God, yes, <laughs> it was trying to do something too advanced, and the hardware just could not handle it. And the uncanny valley. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that game has not aged well. I really enjoy, like, there are gifts coming out of that game where characters are like, just... <laughs> uh, I'll put this in when I launch this with the video. I'll probably just put in, like, the gif I'm talking about. There's, like, a character, like, where were you? Like, did you see the murder? No. And then the character's face just freezes. <laughs> He's just sweating bullets. It's the most hilarious thing in the world. Ah, uh, but, uh, you know, back to Cyberpunk, I'm interested in seeing what they do with that system again, because I want to see that in motion. Yeah, and it's apparently going to be uh, a first-person shooter. 
Yeah, that's fine. People, I think people are upset about that because it's different from The Witcher. It's fine. Yeah, it's not like we've had other great cyberpunk science fiction first person shooters before, like Deus Ex. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I immediately, idiots. <laughs> I I immediately went to what is he is he talking about Snatcher, the obscure Konami game on like the on like the three D O or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, Deus Ex, of course. System Shock. A lot of yes, yeah, System games. Shock. A lot of wonderful looking glass games, and uh, yeah, um, I wonder. Yeah, I, th- I think people complaining about the first person thing are like they're being ridiculous. I'm sure this game's gonna kick ass. Uh, CD Projekt will. Red are, are good people. Like they they have an eye for detail. I'm sure this game's gonna be really cool. Yeah, I, I, th- I think it's gonna be the the shadow run that people have been waiting for. The Shadowrun people. I don't know Shadowrun, so okay. I can't. I can't agree with you that it will be the Shadowrun. That's uh, if you take if that's your takeaway from this video, people, and it isn't. You can't be angry at me. <laughs> I said it. Be angry at me. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, it, it it looks. It's not my thing, but it looks good. I'm I'm interested in seeing it. I no, think it uh, will be my thing. I mean, I I would need to see more footage. Like I I would need to see like gameplay and. I need for them to tell me, like, you know, is it if it's going to have, like, RPG elements? Is, like, is it going to be an exploration type of game? Like, I need more info. But yeah. I, I I think it will be my kind of game. Yeah. It, um, and I, I, I say I didn't like The Witcher 3. I did not like it. Like, I don't have bad will towards CD Projekt Red. So... Very up. I'm I'm hopeful about this one. 